What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Auto Auction Rebuilds. We are back at Insurance Auto Auctions for another walk around. So let's jump into it. We're gonna start out with a 2020 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited. It's a Willys, a Willys. And I kind of like the color. I'm kind of digging it, really, I am. What is this thing? Biohazard pedal car, 2004 Dodge Stratus, really? Wow, that's, anyway, yeah. What is this doing here? I'm wondering if it's gotten hit in the back or something because so far it looks really, really good. And walking around it, no, it looks fine. So why is this here? Let's take a peek at the interior. Ugh. Oh, she smells funky. I don't know what that is. Definitely smells funky. What is all over the... The seats? Well, that makes me not even want to sit in it. It's got a funky smell. Somebody's been under here and they pulled the uh, the emergency transmission release. That's interesting. This mirror got tapped and broken. This doesn't say if it runs or anything. This is... Hold on. Let's slow our roll here a little bit. We might be missing something significant. It doesn't look bad. What's going on here? Oh, wow. Hold up. Oh, yeah. All right. So something's going on under here for sure. You can go in there and see the daggum catalytic converter from there. Hmm. We have... I don't see... I'm very confused. Very confused. Okay, I need to know if this runs. I just, I have to know now because I don't see anything really wrong with this. It's got a little bit of damage. Whatever happens. It's a Jeep. It's a few years old. I don't think there's any juice. I didn't see any lights come on on the inside. So we'll probably need to get the jump pack for this one. Let's just double check and see if anything happens here. No, nothing, as expected. All right, well, let's throw a jump on it. Let's see if she runs. All right, booster pack is on. Let's see if we got any action. We do. Things have started coming to life in here. Oh, the smell in here though, what is that? 36,000 miles. Ooh. There we go, she runs. She runs. Let's see what we got. Ugh. Let's turn that off. Let's close this door. Does the shifter work? Yeah. Interesting. I feel a clunk. Yeah, I definitely feel like something under there is clunking around. Does four-wheel drive work? Yeah. It's shifting into four-wheel drive, and it did. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> no. Something is definitely going on underneath this thing. Look at that battery voltage, too. It goes from 10 to 15. I think that battery's dead is what it is. Battery is really, really dead. Okay. Well. So I thought maybe this was just kind of a... Oh. Good lord. That maybe this was a diamond in the rough. I got a feeling if we look under here, there's got to be something going on down here. Maybe. Uh, hell, I don't see anything, guys. I don't see anything at all. Smitty built. Huh. 
Okay, I'm I'm a little confused on this one, guys. I think I'm gonna stay away from it, but I noticed we're sitting right next to one of these new fangled contraptions, this Chevy Blazer. Now, I've been a fan of Blazers all my life, from the old ones all the way up until, well, the 90s, 2000s. I've always loved the Blazer. I thought they were awesome. This, however, you tell me what you think. How about that? You just, you leave me a comment below. I mean, I'm not saying they're not nice. You know, they got nice stuff on the interior. They they look nice. They're well refined and they've got all your modern comfort amenities and all of that good stuff. But, whoa, holy crap. I didn't see that coming, did I? I just, I... <laughs> To me, it doesn't even look like a blazer, man. This does not look like a blazer. I don't know what it looks like. It doesn't look like a blazer to me. I don't like it. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. I don't like it, but definitely drop a comment below and tell me what you think of the new body style blazer. All right, we'll continue on down the line. Oh, this one's been moved. You guys will recognize this. That's that little 328 with a manual transmission that I've been eyeballing for weeks now. She's still sitting here, but they've moved her to a different location so okay maybe it's getting ready to come up for sale oh look at this old Acura the old 3.2 TL it's another one of those older cars I've just always loved little Fiesta no hey we'll keep going man there's bound to be something else here these blazers this is what I'm talking about this right here this don't get me wrong, I like the old blazers, the big ones, the big blazers. Okay, I love those, but this, and some of you are gonna laugh at me for it, this is one of my favorite body styles of blazers. It really is. And I know this is not the four-wheel drive. The four-wheel drive didn't come with these wheels. This is like the sporty blazer. And if you really wanted a sporty blazer, you got the two-door. All right, instead of four doors, you had a door here that came a little further back, seat flipped forward, and you had these cool wheels. I always saw it as a kid. When these first came out, man, what was it, 95? 95 or 96 when this generation first came out? I saw one for the first time and I thought, whoa, I love that blazer. I did my Joey voice, man. I was like, whoa, I need this in my life. I love the four by fours, but I really, you can't have these wheels on the 4x4. They don't fit. So you got to have a two-wheel drive. So my perfect blazer would be one of these with the two doors, manual transmission with these wheels. Absolutely all day long. I love this generation of blazer. Okay, now that I'm done going crazy like a little schoolgirl over a 96 Chevy blazer, we can move on down the road. Some of the some of the stupidest cars are the ones that I just love the most. You know, I, I, I'm not ashamed of it either. It's just, I just remember being a kid. I kind of miss it. It, it. it wasn't easy. You know what I mean? I never had an easy childhood, but I'm here to tell you, I, I miss it. I miss it. I am 43 years old now and have got the responsibility, it feels like, of the world on my shoulders every day. And I'm not complaining about it. I'm just saying that as an adult, I kind of look back and I remember, what, I thought things were so bad. <laughs> I thought things were so bad. But I really, really, honest to God, miss the 90s. I, I just do. I do. I think everything was better in the 90s. Hell, take the cell phones away. Take away the internet. I don't care. Well, never mind. I'd lose my job. <laughs> Still, I miss it, man. I do. I, some of you out there got to feel the same way. You got to. We're all getting old, man. It's and that's that's hard to reconcile with. It <laughs> we're getting old. I'm 43, but yet it feels like it was just just yesterday that I was living in the 90s. Music was great and freedom and lack of responsibility, man. It's a great time. It's a great time. But those days are over and I doubt they'll ever return again. Yeah, there's a Debbie Downer for you. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to continue on, guys. Let's see if we can find something else to look at. Well, I've done a lot of walking without you because 
I really didn't want to waste your time just wandering around and not finding anything, but I wanted to show you what I'm talking about. Like, we're getting toward the end of this row, and I haven't really seen much that was worth filming. You guys know I love my Escalade, so when I see one, I got to come over here and take a quick look at it. Looks like the crash bar is good, frame rails are good, everything up here has been taken out and it's been cut. You can see someone just clipped everything out of there. Those lines were all cut. So I'm gonna bet this thing probably didn't run. Something was very wrong with it. And they just started stripping parts off of it to make a few dollars selling it on the marketplace or something like that. So I'm not even gonna waste my time looking at that one. We'll continue on down. I'm just, I'm not seeing it guys. I'm not seeing it and we are almost to the end of this row here's a golly it's another biohazard there and there's that dadgum clarity <laughs> something tells me this honda is not going anywhere anytime in the near future no we got a wrecked ramp just lots of stuff that's great for parts or whatever but i'm not seeing much of what i'm actually looking for down this row and I'm running out of time there's a there's an old Chevy back there we'll take a look at probably in the next video because I think as we get to the end of this row I'm gonna have to call it a wrap on this video yeah I think we're running out of running out of cars out here guys there's a Camaro back there we can take a peek at real quick just a v6 but uh, she took a took a nasty hit to the back of the side over here and it's a v6 well there you go you know on that note i think <laughs> i haven't seen one of those stickers in a long time i want to say on that note guys we should probably close out this video we're coming up on another row here and uh I think this is where I want to end it. Golly, another dadgum truck. Ooh. Wow. Yeah. A yeah, little bit of carnage in your video. Nasty front end hit on that one as well. That one's a biohazard. Just, just nasty, man. Nasty. All right, guys. We're done. With that, guys, we're going to get out of here. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, hit the thumbs up button and consider subscribing to the channel. Don't forget to drop your comments down below. Till next time, stay safe out there, everybody. I look forward to seeing you all again very soon in the next one.